Hey folks, today we're getting rid of a bunch of books so I feel better about buying so many during quarantine. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when I post a new video. Hey, today we're getting rid of books. Like I said, um, my family's moving super soon and I have a metric ton of books. So I need to get rid of some so that I don't have to pack them all away and move them. And there's a lot of books that have been on my shelf for a really long time and I just need to come to terms with the fact that I'm never going to read them or I'm tired of looking at them. So these are in no particular order. I've just pulled them off the shelf and stacked them next to me. So first is We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sunquist. This was interesting at the time. I read it a while ago, like four years ago or something. And it was about this guy's dating life and it was interesting but it wasn't my favorite and I'm never going to read it again so I don't think it's super necessary to keep it. The next books I'm getting rid of are the His Dark Materials series. So that's The Golden Compass, The Amber Spyglass, and The Subtle Knife, not in that order. And these are by Philip Pullman. Yeah, um, I'm getting rid of these because I was supposed to have the second one for a fantasy literature class that I took and then she ended up changing the syllabus and we didn't read it and I bought it as a box set so I would have all of them and I just don't think I'm ever gonna read these so I know someone else will really like to have all of them in these matching covers so I'm just gonna let them go plus they take up a ton of space on my shelf. The next book to go is The Call of the Wild by Jack London. I'm pretty sure I read this when I was little, or at least part of it, but I remember not really enjoying it and it being really slow and it's so tiny and I didn't read it. Like, it was cold. I don't know. I wasn't a big fan, so I think it's time to just let this go. You can get copies of this anywhere. I'm pretty sure I could read it free online if I wanted to now, so I'm just gonna let it go. Okay, the next book I'm getting rid of is Sun by Lois Lowry. I read The Giver a long time ago and I love The Giver so much. And then I found this at our local used book sale and I was super excited because it's hardcover and I knew that it was a series and I was so excited. And then I haven't been able to find the other two books in this series and I haven't really had an interest in them and like The Giver wrapped up nicely and I have heard that the other books in the series aren't as good and this is the fourth one so I just I think it's time for it to go. If I ever feel like getting them again I can try but I haven't felt the urge this long so I'm keeping The Giver though, because that's super good. Everyone should read that. The other books that I'm getting rid of are part of a series, and I have Specials, Pretties, and Extras, again, not in that order, by Scott Westerfeld. He wrote the Ugly series, which is what these are a part of, and I liked Uglies at the time. I read it so long ago. And then I read Pretties, and it was like Uglies again basically. And then I started reading specials and it was just pretties again. Like it felt very, very repetitive. So I don't think I ever finished specials and I definitely didn't read extras. And I just feel like this is not a series that really appeals to me anymore. Uh, it's, it's like dystopian kind of stuff. And I just feel like the dystopian genre had its moment and that moment is done for me at least. So I I know someone else will really like these, so I'm just gonna give them away. But I'm keeping Uglies because I did like it and it reminds me of reading it for the first time super long ago. And also I met Strout Westerfeld at Y'all Fest one time and he was really cool. So I'm keeping that one. Alrighty, the next book I'm getting rid of is Marley's Ghost by David Levithan. I randomly got this at Ollie's I want to say for really cheap and I read it and it was cute but 
it wasn't anything special like I'm having trouble remembering exactly what it was about except it's like sort of a retelling of A Christmas Carol but like Marley's a girl I think yeah um so yeah I mean it was cute but I'm never gonna read it again I don't think and yeah so I just hopefully someone else will like it and I'm also getting rid of 21 proms I read this a really long time ago but as a person who has now graduated college and high school prom is pretty pretty distant from me and I feel like someone else will just better enjoy these stories but they're by a lot of like really popular YA authors that I really like so yeah it's cool but I don't think I need this anymore I liked the stories but I don't think I'm gonna reread them yeah. the next two books I'm getting rid of are both by Robin Schneider and this is the beginning of everything and this is extraordinary means I I don't know I read these a long time ago this is like a trend in this video I read these a long time ago and I'm never gonna read them again um, they were kind of they were like sad contemporaries basically which is like something I read a lot of for a while but now am not interested in at all so hopefully someone else will like these they were fun at the time I the only thing I remember from this one is that I think it starts out with like talking about some kid that like died on a Disney ride which was interesting but that's literally all I remember like I read the backs of both of them and remembered nothing about the stories or the characters so that's probably a bad sign and a sign that they need to go so the next two books that I'm getting rid of are Asylum and Sanctum again the beginning of a series I'm pretty sure now there's a third and fourth one and maybe stories in this series like it became a whole thing but I got this because everyone was sort of saying, by everyone I mean like just in my own head and random videos I saw online I guess, that these were kind of similar to Miss Peregrine's because they had pictures in them and they were like kind of spooky vibes I guess, like look, see, a note and some stuff, but they are way creepier than Miss Peregrine's and it's a much more like kind of jump scare like creepy, we're in an asylum, we're gonna die kind of feeling. Miss Peregrine's, while sort of creepy at times, is mostly more than that. So I just, I needed these because I thought Miss Peregrine's was over and that I was never gonna be able to read anything like it again and thought these would be similar and then they were kind of a letdown and now Ransom Riggs is coming out with more books in that series and I'd much rather read those and own those than these. Anyway, this is really long, but these are scary and I don't need them anymore. I'm this book is called Signal to Noise and it's by Silvia Moreno Garcia. And I read this for my fantasy literature class that I actually mentioned earlier, weirdly enough. And it was good, but I had some issues with it. The main character was like the most unlikable main character ever so it wasn't my favorite it like tried to make music references and those were fun but I felt like the magic in this book was kind of weird too also it says for fans of stranger things and then it kind of uses the stranger things font on the front that like has nothing to do with stranger things except I guess they're both set in the 80s maybe anyway not a huge fan, so gonna give this to someone else that might like it more, and that that's it. That's all I, I got. The next one is The Throne of Fire by Rick Riordan. I've had this forever, and I read the first one, and I read this one, and I have no idea what happened to the first one. Like, it went missing from the face of the planet, and I'm pretty sure I didn't loan it to anyone, and I have, like, this really weird memory of it being under a bed. And I think it was my bed, but it could have been like, I don't know. Anyway, it's gone. It's gone forever. I don't know where it is, what happened to it. So now I only have the second book in the series. This was fun when I was little. I don't think I'm ever going to finish the series or reread it. And I just have book two and it makes me uncomfy. So I'm getting rid of it. Someone else will like it way more. But if you don't know what this is, it's, it's by Rick Riordan. So he does like mythology stuff. So it's 
it's for kids, but it's like based in Egyptian mythology because I had a huge Egyptian mythology phase, which I feel like most kids did, but like it was there. It was intense. So I really liked these. That's it. That's all I have to say. Anyway, it's going to go to someone else who hopefully is in the middle of their Egyptian mythology phase. Next is Dorothy Must Die Stories by Danielle Page. I have the entire rest of this series, but I only read the first three, and then I have the fourth one, and I remember them pretty well, considering it's been a while since I've read them, but um, I still haven't read the fourth one yet, and I'm keeping it because I feel like I would reread the series if I couldn't remember, or that, honestly, I could even just pick it up with the end of Oz, like I weirdly remember a lot of it, but these are just random extra stories. And I feel like I don't usually even buy the extra stories that go with the series. Like, I don't know why I even have this. And if it's taken me this long to pick up the last one, I highly doubt that I'll read the stories after. And also, all of my other ones are in hardcover and this one's softcover, which doesn't really matter to me. But, like, it's just another reason to get rid of it. So I'm going to give this to someone else who hopefully has read the others and really wants more. The next that I'm getting rid of is this edition of Macbeth. It's the No Fear Shakespeare one. I got this when I had to read Macbeth in high school and it was super helpful then and I had a good time. But now, check out my other video where I talk about the super cool collection of Shakespeare books that I got the other day for 20 bucks. Um, I don't know why I'm being so aggressive. For $20 and they're super cool, so I don't need this anymore. I no longer fear Shakespeare, and I hope that this will help someone else who has to read Macbeth in high school because it, it was pretty nice. Pretty, pretty. The next book I'm getting rid of is Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard. I read Red Queen a really long time ago, of course, and I never read this, and there's like a metric ton of them now. There's four of them and the other two are huge and I just this is another like kind of dystopian overthrowing the corrupt government with magical ability kind of deal that I'm just not as interested in anymore and this series was like super popular so hopefully somebody else will be interested in buying this um, but I just don't think I'm ever going to read it but these covers are so pretty. I've always loved them. Um, maybe that's why I've kept it this long. But yeah, I, I just think someone else will probably read it way sooner than I will ever get around to it. I'm also getting rid of this gigantic copy of V.C. Andrews' Flowers in the Attic and Petals in the Wind because I don't think I'm ever going to be in the mood to read about ancestral relationships between children. And the last one, if you <laughs> can spot the trend, is another book that's part of a dystopian series that I started reading a million years ago and never finished, and I've had this on my shelf forever just taunting me, and I know that I would need to reread the entire series to read this one, and I just don't want to, so I'm getting rid of it. Okay. Oh, and this is by Rick Yancey. But I'm keeping the first one because I had a good time reading it, and I actually listened to the second one as an audiobook from my library, so I don't even own it, so right now I have books one and three on my shelf and that's stressful so it's gotta go all right everyone sorry for how awkward i was but i hope you were able to catch all of my reasonings for getting rid of these i know i started talking really fast i'm trying to stack them all so i can show them to you because i feel like it's my time you know like you watch booktubers do that for years and years and then you finally make a booktube channel it's like a rite of passage, so I've got to do it. Oh, I'm also getting rid of this because we don't stand politically incorrect children's books in this household. There's so many, you guys. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stand. There's only two more. It's okay. I got them. All right. Here goes, everyone. I don't know how many this is because 
I was an English major, and that means math is my enemy. <laughs> all right, this is it. This is all the books that I'm unhauling. They're falling slowly. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.